Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and I've got a quick video today on how to set up templates in Reason, how to use them, and why you should use them. So, I've made a few videos in the past about my specific templates that I use for uh, mixing, mastering, and I, I don't think I had one for recording, but I'm gonna make, I've just recently made some new videos basically for my new templates on Reason 10 and my new workflows, um, which evolve over time. And so the videos, the links to those videos are down below, but the purpose of this video is just in case you don't know how to use a template to get you started with that. Um, now, the reason you should use templates is because they greatly, greatly speed up the speed. Speed up the speed. <laughs> they really facilitate your recording and speed up the pace at which you can record songs. And not only that, but they also allow you to make sure that you do all the things that you need to do in a song. Sometimes we'll forget to assign a certain feature or you know, maybe you forgot to put the song in 48K if that's what you were supposed to be recording in or you forgot to sidechain um, you know, the master compressor or something like that. These steps can all just be built into your template and they will save you five, 10 minutes throughout your session, but they save you those critical moments when inspiration strikes and you want to get recording or mixing and you don't want to set stuff up. Just like you have presets and patches for your instruments, a template is really just a preset for your DAW and they're super helpful. So with that said, how do you get to your templates? Well, there's two different ways of doing it in Reason. First of all, you have your default template, which shows up when you automatically open Reason. And this can be really helpful to set up. So um, basically to do this, you go to Edit, Preferences, and this is where most stuff is in it, Reason. And then you go down here to Default Song, and you go Template, and you click on this folder button here, and you can browse you know, through any of the templates you want, and then that will be your default template. Um, so what you then need to do from there is, and you can make any song into a template. You could make, you know, a super complicated finished song your default template. You wouldn't want to do that. But basically, any reason project file can be a template. Um, you can set it as your template, but then you can't edit that. Well, you can edit it. It's totally fine to edit it. But then if you create a new file from there, once you've already set it as your default template, uh, you won't overwrite the original template. You'll just start um, going anew. And I don't think I explained that clearly, but um, if I were to select new file, or if I were to create a new file now that this is my set up as my template, that would show up as like new document one. And any changes I made to that would only affect new document one. It would not at all affect the underlying template. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, so once you are in a new document, your template stays secure. It's just the starting point for the file, but it is not the file, the project file itself. Um, okay, so that's one way of using templates. And it's really helpful to have a default template um, when you start Reason. But it's also sometimes you need a specific template, whether you know, you know you're going to be doing a rock track and you've got a certain setup for that that you like, maybe, you know, you're guitar amp simulators already in there and uh, you know some bussing or some uh, drums or if you're doing a hip-hop track and you know you like to have some samplers in there um, then you might want to use a project specific file alternately for mixing um, it's good to use a different template than for mastering or for recording and I made a, a video a while back I'll put a link to it down below about why you want to separate these three phases conceptually, procedurally, and then also just for the sake of DSP processing power. And so um, if you want to use a different template than the default one, that's also really easy to switch on the fly. Um, but I'm going to ask you real quick if you've been enjoying this and you want to find out more about reason, about templates, um, about making and licensing music, and just being like involved creatively with music, please be sure to subscribe. Um, also leave a comment below if there's any type of templates that you would like me to create. 
Um, if I've got some expertise in that, I will certainly do it and put them up, uh, make a video introducing them and put them up. Um, so now let's pivot to the second way of doing templates uh, or of accessing templates. So you go to File and then you just do New from Template. And so um, here are some default ones with Reason, but you could also do Show Template Folder and it'll take you to this file. So you could put your other templates in here or you could open up any other file you have um, that is your template and go from there. So let's just do 16 tap track tape recorder, right? So now we've all of a sudden got 16 tracks ready um, and probably in the rack. This is a default one with reason, so I'm not sure exactly what's in here. This isn't the one I use, but right? So they've got a mastering section in place. They've got a reverb. Um, so, you know, you would then hit save as once you were done and you wouldn't overwrite the over original file. So, um, templates strongly urge you to use them. They're really a powerful shortcut to um, unlocking everything that Reason has to offer and also everything that you have to offer as a musician. Hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like and subscribe and take care.